Hey, what's up, up everybody? John Losh, the Losh Man here for Losh Man's Baseball Cards number 34. Losh Man's Baseball Cards number 34. So we're rolling right along here. It is uh, Thursday, uh, August um, 27th. August, Thursday, August 27th. I'm sorry, I just stop and think for a minute. Um, 2020, and uh, welcome back. And uh, we are going to look at another card from the famous Junk Wax era, which is primarily the era that I collect cards from, as most of you know. Um, today's card is 1990 Topps, um, number six, 1989 record breaker Vince Coleman. And uh, he was one of the St. Louis Cardinals. And on the back, uh, you look at the back here, it's got the, uh, the story here on the back. Um, Vince, Vince Van Gogh couldn't be stopped. Coleman swipes 50 consecutive bases. Uh, Montreal, uh, Quebec, July 28th, 1989. Cardinals Vince Coleman tonight logged his 50th consecutive stolen base in, third, in the third inning before being caught stealing in the fourth stanza. The streak broke the record of 38 set by Dodgers uh, Dave Lopes on, uh, between June 10th to August 24th, 1975. So he broke a record in 1989 that had been set in 1975. So again, uh, 1990 tops, number six, 1989 record breaker Vince Coleman. And uh, Vince Coleman uh, was uh, born uh, September 22nd, 1961 in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, he's left, uh, he was a left fielder and uh, he went to William Rain Senior High and uh, Florida A&M University. Um, his career with uh, in baseball was from 1985 to 1997. Uh, he was a switch hitter, uh, was right-handed. Um, he set a number of stolen base records. Um, he made his debut on uh, April 18, 1985. His last appearance was on April 14, 1999, uh, with the with the Detroit Tigers. He had a 206. He had a point. He had a 264 average. He had 28 home runs. Uh, had 346 runs batted in and uh, nine, 752 stolen bases. Um, he was with the Cardinals from 1985 to 1990. The uh, New York Mets from 91 to 95. Our own Kansas City Royals from 94 to 95. Uh, the Seattle Merrills in 1995. The Cincinnati Reds in 1996. And the Detroit Tigers in 1997. And he was a two-time All-Star in 88 and 89. Uh, he was National League Rookie of the Year in 1985. I uh, was a six-time National League stolen base leader from 85 to 90, and uh, he uh, was uh, he's in the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame. Uh, he was a base running consultant for the uh, Chicago White Sox in 2015, and in 2017 he was a base running and uh, outfield coach for the San Francisco Giants. Um, according to OldSportsCards.com, always want to quote my sources here. Um, it uh, says that like the 1990 Donruss, Fleer, Score, Bowman, and Upper Deck, there were too many of these uh, cards printed in 1990, and uh, the market is flooded with them. Uh, to be worth anything, they have to be the Tiffany, which is the Topps Premium Factory set, and also and or be graded PSA 10, of course. Um, the um, it also has a list of the uh, top uh, 10 most valuable cards uh, from that 1990 set. Um, so the um, uh, Tim Lewis Valuable, the uh, tops uh, number for 1990 tops number 414, Frank Thomas rookie card that had no name on the front, no name on the front, mind you, um, was uh, worth fifty thousand dollars. The uh, one with the name on there was uh, in the Tiffany set, estimated at a PSA 10, was worth four hundred dollars. Uh, the base estimated uh, PSA 10 card uh, was worth twenty dollars. Uh, 1990 tops uh, USA number one George Bush, which, which featured a photo of George Bush in his college uniform at Yale. Um, a uh, PSA 10, uh, PSA 9, excuse me, was worth ten thousand um, dollars, and there were like 100 or so of those cards printed. And uh, 1990 number 336 Ken Griffey Jr. the kid um, estimated PSA 10 was worth five hundred dollars. Base was worth uh, fifty dollars. Uh, 1990 tops number 692 Sammy Sosa rookie. I actually have one of those. Meant to actually get it out and, and show it again. Um, I and I featured it uh, previously here on Washington's baseball cards. Um, uh, Sammy Sosa rookie. Uh, Tiffany PSA 10 was worth $45. Base was worth $25. And like I said, I, I have that card. Um, I've never I've never sent it out to be graded or anything like that. I don't think any of my cards are in exactly wonderful top grade shape or anything like that. Um, unless I've unless they've just been taken out of the pack or something like that, then yeah, probably. But these older ones um, like this that have been around a while, probably not. 
Um, the uh, 1990 tops number 757, Larry Walker, uh, uh, rookie when he's with the uh, Montreal Expos. Tiffany estimated the PSA 10 was worth $55, base is worth 15. 1990 tops number 701, Bernie Williams, rookie. Uh, Tiffany estimated PSA 10, $45, dollars base of 15. 1990 tops number 331, uh, Juan Gonzalez, uh, rookie when he was with the uh, uh, Texas Rangers. Tiffany estimated PSA 10 was worth 30, base is worth $10. 1990 tops number one, uh, Nolan Ryan with the uh, Texas Rangers. Tiffany estimated PSA 10 uh, it was worth $35, base is worth $5. And 1990 tops uh, number two through five, which was the Nolan Ryan 5,000 uh, strike. Uh, was it five? No one was it? Uh, Nolan Ryan's 5,000 strikeout uh, salute. Uh, Tiffany estimated PSA 10 was worth twenty dollars. Base was worth five dollars. And uh, 1990 tops number 300, uh, our own Kansas City Royals, Bo Jackson. Um, Tiffany estimated a PSA 10 was worth $15, base card was worth uh, $15. Uh, the 1990 Tops uh, set was a uh, 792 card set. It had subsets of All Stars, Checklists, Manager Cards, the Nolan Ryan 5000 uh, Strikeout Salute, uh, Record Breakers like the Spence Coleman card, um, Tops All Star Rookies, and Turn Back the Clock were the uh, subsets in it. Uh, the 1990 Baseball Season. Uh, the top draft pick was Chipper Jones. Uh, the American League MVP was Ricky Henderson. Uh, National League MVP was Barry Bonds. American League champs were the uh, Oakland A's. Uh, the runner-up were the Boston Red Sox. The National League champions uh, were the Reds. Um, the runner-up in the National League was the, the Pittsburgh Pirates. World Series champs were the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, World Series MVP was Cincinnati's uh, Jose Rijo. And our own Kansas City Royals um, in that 1990 year were 75 and 86 and came in sixth in the uh, American League West. They are now in the American League Central. So this is before they got moved to the American League Central. So anyway, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Again, another uh, baseball card video from the Junk Wax era that I mostly collect from. And I um, hope that you're enjoying your week so far. I hope you're enjoying this month of August. Um, I noticed it's already starting to get dark earlier um, here in Kansas City, Missouri. Again, um, I work evenings right now. This is my day off uh, today and tomorrow, but I work evenings right now, 1.30 to 10. So I'm missing out on, I've kind of missed out on most of the uh, evenings when it's still light until like 9 o'clock uh, or so here in Kansas City, Missouri, unfortunately. But, you know, you got to make a living, right? So, um, but this project I'm on with the, my current employer ends the end of September. So I'm hoping to uh, pick up another job to replace it once that's done, which I'm already applying for things. I'm not waiting until the last minute, but I'm already starting to apply for things. Pick up a job to get back to working days, Monday through Friday, Monday, uh, because I'm just really not cut out for evenings. Uh, but I'm doing it right now because it was what was available when I took this job. Or I just didn't look at their list long enough or hard enough or something. I don't remember exactly what the deal was. But anyway, um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. And more importantly, I um, hope you are... Um, living your life every single day for the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you know him as your personal Lord and Savior. If you don't, um, you can turn to him right now in prayer. Just tell him, Lord, I know that I'm a sinner. Uh, if you go back to the Garden of Eden, you know you were born in sin. Uh, Romans 3.23 says, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 goes on to say, but the, you know, the wages of sin is death, which is not just the physical death of this body, but the eternal separation in a very real place called hell. Um, you know, and uh, so it says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God, free gift, you don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to work for it. You can't earn it. You'll never be good enough to earn it, but he offers it to you as a free gift. If you'll just ask um, and, you know, tell him uh, so the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. OK, um, Jesus told uh, the, the Nicodemus in John chapter three, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can I climb back into my mother's womb and be born again? You know, that doesn't make sense. And Jesus said he was talking about a spiritual birth, a spiritual rebirth, okay, uh, which comes when you receive him as your personal Lord and Savior, repent of your sins, ask him to come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior. And John 3.16 goes on to say, for God so loved the world. That means you, that means me, that means everyone, even though we don't deserve it. We'll never deserve it. The sight of heaven. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, okay? So you can receive him today. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 
Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. He will make you a new person from the inside out. You can't do it on your own power. He will give you a new heart and a new mind. Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's not a SWAT team. He's not going to knock down your door. He's not going to force his way into your life. Um, he's just standing at the door and gently knocking and saying, can you hear my voice? Will you let me in? You know, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and be with him and he with me. Okay. So he promises you, you know, um, you know, and, and the Bible, and the, some people wonder, well, how can I know that? Well, the Bible says these things are, I've written unto you that you may know, you may know you have eternal life. It doesn't come through worshiping idols. It doesn't come through works-based religions. It doesn't come by special jewelry or anything that you use when you're praying, or it doesn't come with statues, and it doesn't come with, you know, worshiping men um, in, in fancy garb and, you know, all this kind of stuff. No, it comes through faith. It's in, it's in faith alone, in grace alone, in Christ alone, okay? So receive him today. Um, take advantage of that. Um, I love you. I care about you. I want to see you in eternity. So, you know, take advantage of that. And I'll be back soon with another video from Lost Man's Baseball Cards. And uh, hopefully I'll get back to doing some Lost Man's Baseball uh, football cards here soon as well. And uh, continue to watch my channel here for those, for my Casey Trekkie videos, uh, for uh, fulfill, the, the Fulfill Your Ministry videos on this uh, same channel. So um, check those out and enjoy the blogs. Uh, that I'm posting them on as well. And um, have a great day. Have a great finish to your week. And uh, God bless. And beloved, if I don't see you here, I'll see you in the air. If you need a church in Kansas City, Missouri, Solid Rock Bible Church, 2501 Northeast Parvin Road, Kansas City, Missouri, 64117, uh, 915 and 1030 on Sunday mornings, uh, 6 p.m. on Sunday nights, 630 Wednesday nights. Love to see you. Uh, if you're looking for some good uh, uh, streaming Christian entertainment, um, EternityReadyRadio.com EternityReadyRadio.com I'm on the ministry staff of that doing promotions and public relations EternityReadyRadio.com we got a great mix of music, uh, teaching uh, old, old, old shows uh, radio dramas all kinds of stuff all from a Christian perspective all meant to share the love and grace of Jesus Christ um, in your life so tune in to that if you want to be a sponsor um, or you want your show carried on that station, hit us up at the contact now link on eternityreadyradio.com. Tell them that John sent you and uh, we'll definitely get you uh, scheduled on there. Uh, we are asking for a minimum of, of 20 to $50 per month for different uh, uh, you know, links of shows and everything. So we are looking for you to, to chip in for monthly support on that. But check that out as well. And again, if I don't see you here, beloved, I'll see you in the air. I love you. God bless. And I'll see you next time on Lost Man's Baseball Cards.